Hi guys, this video is for an Arclex forum user. He made a comment on YouTube and I responded to him and I said, join me on the forum. And there he is. I do not know on what operating he is. It could be on Mac or Windows or Manjaro or KOS or whatever, right? I don't know yet. But I hope he is on Arclex XL. Which gives me the opportunity to test out my script again. He wants to install Arclex B left WM on QMU, the Verge Manager of and then QMU as a backend. This gives me the opportunity to tell you that we have a Arclex Nema, Nemesis, sorry, Arclex Nemesis folder. And where is that coming from? That's coming from Control Alt G in GitHub.com. There we have it. And these days, the two most important things I've put them, I've pinned them, right? That's the word. I've pinned them. Arclex Nemesis and the Nemesis repo are today and in the future the most important ones. So Arclex Nemesis, that's all it is. Code. Click here. Do this. And then you say in here, let's open a terminal, git clone, and you have it too. In that folder, there is an AOR, and in there, let's move you over here, there is a install QMU thing. There's a lot more, but we're not interested in the rest. So we are looking for QMU. Okay, that's the one. Install QMU version 1. And let's test it out again and help this user. So never mind all the red things. Well, we'll see if it's working. And that's all that matters. So these scripts get updated from time to time. Uh, things change, right? That's life. Things change. And we need to test it out. I need to test it out with something. So I could have done that there already. Eric, Eric. So Arclex, uh, what if we type just Arclex? What do we get? We come to the com website and info website. So let's navigate to the com website. Here's the downloads. And there you go actually to the correct website, which is the information website. And then you download it from. This is free of charge. We don't pay for this, but this is. So please download from the guys that do not cost us any penny. Let's do another one. Let's do a, I oh know, I should go to the B. It was B left up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I could go to full stars, Eric, why not? It's there. I don't know if it happens just with me, but I really need to do always twice. I don't know why, maybe it's a Belgium thing, but it will load, it's after some time, but it does take a while. I don't know, I should ask the guys or maybe it's just down today that's possible as well okay so let's not wait for it and uh, let's go get a Arcalix B he wanted to have and uh, we wanted to have the left WM left WM left WM left WM left WM there he is and the very last one that we have is this one that's the ISO problems downloading there is so much more Hungaria, Bulgaria, Germany, Netherlands, Romania, Sweden. So choose a server that's fast for you. This is four minutes, three minutes left. And it's coming from Sweden, Stockholm, which is probably one of the best. But there is there are some strange things. Sometimes Hungary comes out. There is no logic <laughs> in these things. Sometimes the other one wins and say, yeah. Why is that winning? So let's see if that's faster in any way. You can click on this one, I believe. I think somebody's coming. Let's pause here. All right, it's in. You go to the virtual machine manager. You put it up. You say that we have a plus. Oh, before we go on, always have the reflex virtual machine, virtual box, VMware to reboot after an installation. So with the video, I'm not doing that, right? So but I have the reflex that sometimes these things need to yeah, take effect 
and you need to actually do something like reboot. So here is the ISO automatically detect, detect help little guy. It's called Arch Linux, my friend, and then forward. Voila, there we go. Main of surprise. Um, what should I do? Yes, sir. And then we have eight thousand. We have eight. Then we take four. Forwards, hard disk, thirty. Forward, customize configuration before install, finish. Virtual network is not active. Would you like to activate? Yes. And then I'm taking the new kind of uh, approach. And I'm going to take this line. I always take this line. So and, uh, should, I should Google, right? Should Google. But this line. And then apply. Then the rest can stay as is. Begin installation. Unable to complete install. Network default is not active. So probably need to reboot. So unfortunately, it will be two videos, right? And uh, that's what something I don't like about the installation. I think none of it will be saved. I can do it all over again. All right, rebooting.